The Sniffer is Minecraft's first dinosaur, definitely one of the most adorable mobs. And in this video I will show you everything you need to know about this new creature. In October 2022 Mojang announced three new mobs for mob voting. We had the tough golem that could hold items and turn into a statue. But as he would be a mob with little use, he ended up having very few votes. We also had the rascal that hides and if you find him three times he will give you a reward. But since he didn't offer any new items, he ended up getting few votes too. So the sniffer won the vote for being the most interesting. The sniffer is an ancient mob according to Mojang. He is a mob that loves plants, and apparently would be extinct. And that's a really cool thing, because the idea of him being some kind of prehistoric dinosaur is something that adds more history to Minecraft. Now to find the eggs of this wonderful creature in your world, you will need to go to the warm ocean ruins. Inside this structure, you can find suspicious sand blocks, and using the item called brush, you will be able to excavate the suspicious blocks which is where the sniffer egg can be found. This egg is hard to find at first, so you'll have to look hard, because there's only a 6.7% chance apparently, so it's a bit rare. Once you find it, you'll need to place it somewhere to hatch, and that takes about 20 minutes. One eternity later. If you don't want to wait too long to get your sniffer, you can place the egg on top of the block of moss and it will hatch in just 10 minutes. Now a very interesting fact about the baby sniffer. Did you know that his name is actually not sniffer but snifflet? Yes, this little creature has a unique name as a baby and only becomes a sniffer as an adult. If you use the torch flower seed, you can feed the baby sniffer and make it grow faster. But I recommend you not to do this in survival mode if you don't want to spend a lot of seeds. When sniffers grow into adults, they have the ability to sniff the soil to find seeds of ancient plants. There are two main types of seeds that the sniffer can dig up. We have the torch flower that you can plant like a normal seed and it will grow into a beautiful flower. If you use bone meal, you can speed up the growth process, just like normal seeds. This plant has three different stages, so be careful not to harvest before the final stage. Bruh. Now one thing that annoys me a little. Why is this flower's name torch flower and it doesn't light up the places? Mojang, why not? Why not? I don't know. Besides the torch flower, we also have this one which is called pitcher plant. You can also plant it like a common seed, and it will grow into a magnificent bluish flower, which is the most beautiful of all in my opinion. This flower has even more growth stages than the torch flower. It has five different stages and they are all very beautiful. Normally, you can use bone meal to multiply larger plants, but the pitcher plant cannot be multiplied using bone meal. Okay, now those are the two plants that officially made it to the game, but did you know there were more that were shown that didn't make it? In the video where the sniffer was announced, a very different green plant was shown, and that ended up not making it to the game. Maybe it was just a concept to represent the sniffer's ability to sniff out plants, but I wonder why not add that too, it could be something interesting. We also had another plant that was leaked by a user on Twitter along with the pitcher plant, but it didn't make it to the game either, and we were left with only two plants for the sniffer, unfortunately. In the first snapshot in which the sniffer was launched, it had a drop. There was a very small chance, but it was possible to get a moss block by killing him. And in the final version, this was removed and now he doesn't have any drops. The Mojang certainly did this to not encourage players to kill him. The villagers have a nice connection with the sniffer. They can collect the ancient seeds. And they are also able to plant them. This will be very useful for anyone who wants to enslave them and farm these seeds. Using torch flower seed, you can feed two adult sniffers and make them breed and then they will drop a sniffer egg. Mm. 
then it is necessary to place the egg somewhere for another sniffer to be born. But in the first versions where the sniffer arrives, it was possible to reproduce them directly and after feeding them with the torch flower seed you would instantly have a baby sniffer. When the sniffer was released in beta version for Bedrock Edition, it was possible to load the adult sniffers in boats. Which was cool for hauling it around, but it was also a little weird carrying this giant thing on the boat. Look how it takes up practically all the space. Even though it was very strange, it was quite fun, but now in the final version it is no longer possible to carry adult sniffers in boats, it is only possible to take babies. Now a super cool thing, there is a command in Minecraft that allows you to mount the sniffer. Just type this and select the code of the entity that is next and you will be able to mount. Unfortunately you can't control the sniffer, but anyway this is a pretty cool command to play with. The sniffer needs at least a 2x2 hole to get through because of his size, but if you get him trapped like that and put a gate with 1 block spaces, he can get through. And this is the 100 real Minecraft logic. In the first snapshot where the sniffer egg arrived, it was not possible to put it in water, but now it is. Also when you put the sniffer egg on the ground in the first versions, it kept dropping particles. But now that doesn't happen anymore. There is a pottery shard that has the same design as the sniffer and is called a snart pottery shard. With it, it is also possible to make a pot decorated with the appearance of the sniffer. This is what a sniffer looks like if you use a dinner bone name tag on it. The sniffer is only able to sniff seeds if it is in those specific blocks. Sniffers are completely peaceful mobs. And they only have 7 hearts of life. The sniffer egg is practically indestructible. The only ways to destroy it is to use the cactus or flint and steel. During the sniffer development process, the developers made it dig beds instead of seeds for some reason, just the mojang being random. My god Mojang, what a f-